scout and report on San Antonio. You get a chance to talk to you. Well, the first thing you know about them is uh, uh, they did something to the team that beat us twice. Uh, they blew out an old Dominion team. A team, one of those teams beat us twice in their last game. Um, should have beaten Charlotte. Got beat on the last second shot of Charlotte. Uh, you know, we played them uh, back early in our schedule. We played them at home. Uh, no question, they've gotten better. Uh, you know, Beverly's a load, scores inside, outside. O'Brien's their best shooter's a four guy. Um, they got some guys that's coaches, coach, coach has done a great job with them, getting those guys to stay together and believe and play hard for them. What have you seen from your team the last couple of days and getting ready for this, and how ready do you think they are for, for what's to come? Well, you know, I mean, there hasn't been a whole lot to see in the last couple of days from the standpoint of really being able to get after them. I mean, we played Saturday and Sunday was off. You know, we didn't try to kill them Monday morning. We had to practice early Monday morning at 11 o'clock to bust down here. So, uh, but, you know, you know we've, been, we've been relaxed. And, you know, I think we're as focused as we can be. Uh, you know, we came in here off of two really good wins, came, off, came in here off the, a really hard fault win against a very good rise team. So, uh, again, none of that matters right now. You know, now it's, a, it's a basically a one game season, and for us, we gotta, we got to win four games in a row. That's our challenge. Rick, uh, yes. you heard me ask Justin and Pancake that balance between the sense of urgency and yet relaxed. As a head coach, do you find yourself reminding to, to, to send that message to him as well? You know, you know, I think the relaxing part is, I mean, you got an opportunity to play for a championship. And it doesn't matter what you've done the first 30 games. And that's the way I've always approached it. I, I approach it with a lot of excitement. I want your players to be excited for it. Because it is a, you know, it'll be an environment where you bring 12 other teams together in one environment. You know, that's always a special venue. And have a chance to play for a championship, uh, that's always special. And again, we know ourselves, uh, we got to take them one game at a time. And we got to find a way to get that first one before you get that second one. So I think our guys mentally are in the best place I could ask them to be in at this point. Oh, no.